I know that I've mentioned to you several times about the online cloud application I'm using for project management, and it's called Clocking IT. The web address is clockingit.com. It's free, completely free, which is great for me because I tend to use open source and free things as much as I can. And if you look down here, there's some features it tells you about. There's no restrictions or limits. That means you can have as many people logged in for your projects as you want. One-click time tracking, clean and out-of-the-way interface, interactive Gantt chart and scheduling. Gantt chart is what's used in Microsoft Project, if any of you are familiar with that. Uh, flexible reporting, multiple ways to communicate, tracks and indexes all changes. It will notify you via email, RSS, and iCal if there's something on your calendar that you need to take care of. And it's very simple to use. Now we'll go to the login page. And this is my clocking it dashboard. The items that you see with the white bars are called widgets. You can add as many of these to your pages as you want to. And when you go to overview up here, you have a link that's called add new widget, which will bring up this little area right here. You can add any type of widget that you want. Tasks, projects, recent activities. Do tasks, comments, tasks, day chart, burn down chart, burn up chart, work status, and actually so you can put Google gadgets on here too. So that's a great thing. Let's just cancel this and get it out of the way. Uh, this first widget here is when my projects are due, um, the actual tasks that are within my projects. And you see by the red text right here where it says 14 days ago, 9 days ago, 7 days ago, 1 day ago. I need to reschedule some of my things. What I do is when I find ideas that I want to post about, I just log in here, jot them down, and set a date that I think I want to have them completed by. Sometimes that works on that date, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I'll find something else that I need to do before. The next area is top tasks. These are the things that are upcoming due that I need to do, and also the things that are past due. If you look over here, you have colors. You have red and green. Those designate different priorities and different urgencies of the tasks that you want to have done. And if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see my newest tasks are here. Those are the tasks that I just put in, my most recent ones. And this also up here is a chart that charts how about how long it takes for me to get things done. And if you look here, it takes probably about 27 days before I get to something I put in there to do it. Like I said, I come in here frequently and log in and just write down my thoughts and then set a tentative date for when I want to have them done. Sometimes that tentative date works and sometimes it doesn't. What I need to do is be more diligent about coming in here and updating the dates on my posts and my projects. Your areas down here are your clients. Um, fresh focus on productivity obviously is the blog. And under that, I have projects of advertising, posts, promotions, references, and resources. And then I have my home life, which has my long-term goal project in it. And what the great thing is about the dashboard is that you can hover over any item, and it will bring up a screen that gives you a summary of it. The summary, the project, who's it's assigned to, whether it's open, closed, or in progress, the due date that you set, the progress that you've made on it, and the description. You can do that in any of the areas on the screen. I'm going to make this a multi-part series because it's going to be rather long because I want to go in depth and show you each area and what each area does. So for now this is going to be signed off and thank you for participating in my first video cast. Thanks.